Albizias, the trees that ate Puna. The U.S. Forestry Department wasn't joking when they coined that phrase more than a year ago. Now that we've seen just how much damage Albizias can do, folks across the state who live in the shade of those trees are a bit on edge. KITV 4's Catherine Cruz has more on our continuing coverage. Longtime Manoa resident George DeCani takes his daily walks in full view of the Abizia trees deep in the valley. Any educated person would be fearful and watchful of tall trees hanging over their homes. He points to these Abizias that threaten the homes around them. It's just up from where he lives. There was a high wind some years ago, and this neighbor across the street, the Albizia, Branch fell down and damaged her roof. Abizias can grow four inches a week and easily reach 20 feet just in the first year. It's best to remove Albizias when they're small saplings or young trees rather than wait till they become very large canopy trees, which can be expensive to remove. So you're talking in the thousands of dollars then to take these trees apart. And part of the reason for the high cost is that the wood is so brittle, it's a really difficult tree to deal with. U.S. forestry officials weren't kidding about Abizias eating Puna. All you have to do is see the damage where trees fell on houses or cars and making roads impassable thanks to Isel's winds. A bill introduced by Big Island lawmaker Russell Rudiman had asked to set aside $5 million to deal with the threat of trees along highways in Hilo, but it failed this past session. Lawmakers did, however, provide $100,000 to find a natural enemy to keep the spread of Abizias in check. The state's invasive species committee is in the early stages of a biocontrol project to identify an insect or fungus that can do the trick. It's never been tried before, and a solution is still years away. So what we're funding at this point is the beginning, the exploratory work to find that biocontrol agent, and then there's a lot of testing that has to be done to make sure that if there's a pest that we bring back that will attack Albizia, it doesn't attack anything else in Hawaii. Now, Albizias are native to Indonesia, but are already widespread uh, on all of the uh, main Hawaiian islands. Now, officials may be uh, taking a closer look at the threat of Albizias growing along our state highways before they block critical thoroughfares during a bad storm. Back to you.